Okay. So what would be your advice to listeners now to kind of recap or if you have anything additional to share to prepare for October and to prepare for a really good year? Yeah. So biggest thing is make space, clear your clutter, digital, emotional, physical. Okay. And there's, there's different tools for forgiveness. There's, you know, and I, I, a lot of times in readings, I discuss that with clients, but you've got to let go of these old hurts. You really need to heal. And so when you can create that space, that is where pure magic can roll in. So make space. Um, the next thing I would say is get clear. What do you want? Don't set yourself up and put 30 things on your list, but get clear and pick 10. And a way I like to set goals is actually through using the numbers. So your one goal can just be something completely selfish. One is for you. What do you want? Totally selfish goal. Mm -hmm. Your two goals should be a relationship goal, whether it's with your parents, your spouse, your children, your, you know, siblings, but something to do with relationships is a good two goal. Your three goal is all about expansion. It also rules creativity and communication. So maybe you want to put a creative goal there. Your four goal is um, all about that foundation. What do you really want to get clear on? What do you want to finish that maybe you've been procrastinating on? So some type of completion goal is good under four energy, or it's where I like to put health goals. Okay. Five energy, I like to put a travel or an adventure goal or something, you know, if you want a new car or a new house, you can put that there. Six, like I said it rules your children, your pets. So if you wanted to have a baby, you would put that there. If you wanted to get married, maybe that would be a goal that you would have. But your six goal rules, like I said, marriage, birth, divorce, death. So you want to make a six goal, something that involves love. Your seven goal is that self-care, right? Maybe it's you're going to get a massage every month. Maybe you're going to get a manicure every month, whatever it is. But your seven goals should be a self-care goal or a spiritual goal. You can also put something there if you have legal stuff going on that you want to resolve. Eight energy, this is your money goal. This is where you can put anything that involves finance, okay? Um, and then your nine goal I always say it should be a goal for human for humanitarian goal, something for the collective. So your one goal, totally selfish. Your nine goal needs to be have that humanitarian component to it. So if okay. you if you move through that way, you hit every area of your life, mm. right? And so you're working on something from all aspects, which is really um, well rounded. So, so you're saying we should have something for those nine numbers and and set those type like like well-rounded goals for the next year. Yeah, that's that's a place to start. And then you can, you know, your one goal, you can drill down and put three or four points underneath right. it, you know, but just get really clear. That can help people. Um, but once you step into that drumbeat and you're using the energy, that is that is where you can make real progress, have super soul evolution and, you know, just step into the flow. 